Hey campers, this is Dr. W. I'm just going to run through some uh, conversion of chemical quantities problems here. Um, first question is how many liters of space does 41.3 grams of SO2 gas occupy? Let's see if there we go. Let's figure out what we're looking for. How many liters? Okay, so let's, let's go and equal sign in. And then liters of SO2 gas. Okay. Now, when I'm doing these conversions, I like to do something like, like um, fence. Okay. That's supposed to be a skirt line. Okay. Now, after you draw the fence, the second step is just to put the number that we give you in the top left. Put in the top left. Okay. <coughs> now, we're trying to get from grams. The liters, we can't go directly there. There's no conversion that will get us there, but if we go through the mole, we'll be able to get there. So let's figure out how to get rid of our grams units. We're going to put grams down here on the bottom. Moles up here on the top. Put one mole, there is 64.1 grams of SO2. Go ahead and cross out the grams units. Okay, now we're on the moles. We still need to go to liters though. So Let's figure out a conversion that will get us out. Liters per mole. How many liters per mole by SP3? It's 22.4 liters per gram mole. Well, this is going to cancel, and we're left with liters. And if you work, 14.4 liters of SO2 gas. Okay. Now, once you solve these problems, do your teacher a favor and put a box around the answer. Okay. Next one. How many atoms in 1.5 moles of C6H12O6? This is otherwise known as sugar. Okay. Let's draw an equal sign. We're looking for atoms. Okay. Let's draw another fence here. Let's make this a little bit straighter than the first one. Okay. Put your number in the top left of the fence. Moles of C6 H12 O6. Okay. Now we're trying to get from moles to atoms. The way we do that is by figuring out how many particles we have. Okay, that means we have to use our that big six point two from some point three number. Put one mole. Okay, that goes on bottom because we have to cancel out moles. We've got 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules. Okay. This is going to cancel. Okay. Now, we're getting closer, but we're not quite there. We want to know about atoms. How many atoms are there? Well, you figure out how many molecules there are now by putting your values into the fence, but we have to figure out how many atoms. So to know that, you have to know how many atoms per molecule. Now if you count 6 plus 12 plus 6, you're going to find that there's 24 atoms. Let's put that into our points. There's 24 atoms per one molecule. Okay. Molecules cancels. Moles cancels. We're left with the units that we want, which is and the answer comes out to 2.17 times 10 to the 24 atoms in the sample and that's what I'm going to sample sure. and the next question identify the diatomic gas with a density of 3.17 grams per liter <clears throat> okay so to identify the atomic gas You've got to know the molar mass, right? What they give us is 3.17 grams per liter. Okay, so we got grams on the top, grams on the top. We don't need to do anything with the grams, but we do need to get rid of the liters. The way we do that is to put liters on top here so that they'll cancel out. And then moles on the bottom because that's what we want for the the answer. Okay. Now, what's the ratio? It's 22.4 liters per one mole. Liters cancels. Just to multiply that number, 
71.0 grams per mole. Now, this is the this is the molar mass of our diatomic gas. So, if it's two atoms, we have to divide 71.0 by two. And that's going to bring us up 35.5 grams per mole. Look that up. You'll find that that ends up being 40. So our molecule is indeed Cl2. Okay. Last but not least, how many liters does 3.75 to 20 gas molecules occupy? Okay. So whenever you see a big number like this, these are talking about individual molecules or particles. Okay. We want to go to liters, but there is no direct way to do that. We have to go through the mole first. Okay, so let's put an equal sign. Let's put liters of gas on the right. Let's go ahead and draw on our fence. Okay, on the right hand side we put what we are given. 3.75 times 10 to the 20 molecules. Now we want to get rid of molecules, so let's put that there, and we want to get to moles. There's one mole, in one mole there's 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules. Okay, now we got the moles, but we need to get to liters. Let's put liters on top here, that's what we're trying to get to. For one mole there's 22.4 liters, moles cancels. Molecules can't this. In the end, we want to the unit that we want, which is liters. Which we need a calculator. Okay, <clears throat> so hope this helps. Happy converting.